Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on meta regression. Meta regression is defined to be a meta analysis that uses regression analysis to combine, compare and synthesize findings from multiple studies while adjusting for the effects of available covariates or factors on a response variable. So meta regressions are similar in essence to simple regressions in which an outcome variable is predicted according to the values of one or more explanatory variables. In a meta regression, the outcome variable is the effect estimate and the explanatory variables are characteristics of studies that might influence the size of the intervention effect. These are often called potential effect modifiers or covariates. Meta regressions usually differ from simple regressions in two ways. First, Larger studies have more influence on the relationship than smaller studies since studies are weighted by the precision of their respective effect estimate. Second, it is wise to allow for the residual heterogeneity among intervention effects not modeled by the explanatory variables. This gives rise to the term random effects meta regression since the extra variability is incorporated in the same way as in a random effects meta analysis. Meta regression should generally not be considered when there are fewer than 10 studies in a meta analysis. In our current random effects model, we are provided with a more truthful summary of the effects found in the literature regarding the effect of violent video games. However, it would be more insightful if we could explain the excess variance. To this end, we may try to explain the differences in the effect between studies by factors that characterize study specific circumstances and characteristics. Factors that may play a role in the current case are the genre of the video game because of the amount of details put into violent scenes or the release year because of perhaps better gaming engines which enhance the overall experience of gameplay. Also study design and in particular the method of allocation of study participants among studies treatment arms may have significant influence on treatment effects. To see if any of these explain the observed between studies differences, we will carry out a meta regression that includes both the covariate year as well as the factor game type or game genre by duplicating the original analysis and adding the predictor variables like so. So first we duplicate the analysis and after this has been completed we will add the factor and the covariate and let it run the analysis now next to the intercept in the coefficients table we now see one coefficient for year and two coefficients uh, for the game type. The omnibus test indicates that not all three of these coefficients are equal to zero. The test for residual heterogeneity in the first table indicates that the moderators do explain differences between studies. Now coming to the coefficients table, it itself indicates that the only coefficient for the simulation type of video game genre in, is in fact non-zero. We can see that the simulation type is non-zero with a p-value of less than 0 0.001 and confidence intervals that are not crossing zero. This regression coefficient obtained from a meta regression analysis will describe how the outcome variable that is the effect of violent video games changes with one unit increase in the explanatory variable which is the simulation type of video game and we can now see that the forest plot as well as the funnel plot both have now changed the forest plot now includes small gray areas small gray diamonds as if you can see here these gray diamonds are the predicted effect sizes for these studies computed from the meta regression model. Furthermore, the overall 
meta analytic effect size uh, which was uh, which we could see as a diamond with confidence intervals here has also now disappeared and there is no overall meta analytic effect size anymore because it varies with the predictors in the final plot the study the studies have now fallen inside the 95% confidence triangle which is desirable and the final plot is also has also remained symmetrical that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video